Today is harvest day. We are going to harvest these Freedom Rangers and the Cornish broilers over there. Uh, we were going to do this ourselves this coming Saturday, but after helping my friend the other day harvest his Freedom Rangers, I realized we weren't going to get these all done in one day. And uh, since we are leaving for Idaho and Utah this weekend to uh, take these uh, uh, broilers back to uh, uh, taste test with our family reunion, we decided we got to get it done. So we're going to have our, uh, uh, we're taking them to our Mennonite friends and we're going to have them uh, kill them for us today. Uh, we, in this experiment, in comparing the Freedom Rangers and the Cornish, we have seen advantages and disadvantages of both. I'm going to have to sit down and write up and decide which I'm going to do next year. Uh, we'll, some of it will depend on how much meat we get out of these today and I'm going to do the economic analysis looking at how much feed I th put through them and uh, so I'll have a write up on all of this and let you know how our experiment turned out. Here we are in Sandy, Utah. Our chickens have come here 2,500 miles by way of Mount Rushmore. They arrived in good shape. There was still ice on the inside of these chickens. Uh, we have just finished cutting up the Cornish cross and I am cutting up a uh, Freedom Ranger here and I'm cutting a drumstick off of this Freedom Ranger and they look just terrific and this is my brother-in-law Rick Huntsman he is a Dutch oven master and he's got how many Dutch ovens have you got going out there? I'll have three going over there. He's got three Dutch ovens going. You're going to fit all these in three Dutch ovens? Alright, good. So we're going to have about 50 people here tonight to eat these Cornish Cross and these Freedom Rangers, and so we're really excited about this. All right, Rick, tell us what you're doing here. I'm putting the chicken in the Dutch oven just a second. We'll put some seasoning on it. This one here is just a fill over from the. Oh, there's the chicken. Oh, <laughs> cute, Phyllis. I like that. Okay. <laughs> it's like, help, they're eating me. This one here, we'll, we may put both kinds in just to see if we got enough. This, this has got most of every, the, the one kind in it. Those are the Cornish crosses already bubbling away. If you can actually hear, I'm not sure that that shows up here, but I can hear them bubbling away. This is my favorite, lemon pepper and seasoning. And then we got a little chicken seasoning. Can't wait till tonight. And about how long does it take to cook them like this? Uh, I usually go slower, so I, it takes me a couple hours, two and a half hours. Okay, so get just them. get them really tender all the way through. Yeah. So, and I got to bring out another stove so I can put this one on it and have the three stoves go or three burners going at the same time. Set that one over here with this one up so you can see what it's 